Well, hello there. Today I'm excited to unbox the Chestnut Go and tell you my first impressions of this board. The Chestnut Go is a portable electronic chess board that provides you with the tools you need to play online matches with chess.com or Lee Chess. The only difference is you can play on the go. So just like the previous boards such as the Chestnut Air and the Evo, the Go is seemingly more compact for your travel needs, whether you're at the airport waiting for your next flight or on a long road trip or camping. The Go is light and easy to carry when you're on the go. So this is the latest board from Chestnut's lineup and I was fortunate to receive this board from Chestnut for review. I won't delve into too much detail about this board as I have never had my hands on this board until today. So I'll freely tell you my initial impressions and get my hands on this chess set right now. So I'll post more details about the Go for another video. So feel free to tune into my channel and without further ado, let's unbox this. And let's check it out. So here is the chestnut go inside its case. Let's have a look and see. So there are a total of 34 plastic pieces with sensor chips. So you get two extra queens included as well. And you'll have a charging cable with it too. And on the back, just some details such as the website. And so here is the beautiful case. I chose um, chestnut, the chestnut board with uh, the orange buttons. You can see that it's really compact inside this case. The chestnut logo there. There we go. So the board inside, the sleeve, and I believe that we have the pieces inside. Here is the charging cable. Oh, look at that. You get extra felts as well. They include that in the chess set. So once you buy the Go inside, there are extra felts. The safe, um, the felts that you're using fall out due to wear and tear. You can replace them with these. And these are the white pieces. I'll, I'll take them out in a moment. Let's just see what's inside the case first. So we have the black pieces too. Black and white. A quick start guide. Instructions on and off. Reset. New game. Power LED indicators right here. So green means the board is uh, fully charged. You have flashing green, power on and charging. Red, which means power off and charging, not charging, green. Well, you get you get the gist of it. Bluetooth LEDs, status LED yellow, refer to game status LEDs. You have a buzzer, so the buzzer will sound starting a new game. Once you start a new game, you can you'll hear a buzzer. And to get the app, you just scan this QR code and you can connect the board to your devices, such as your iOS or an Android device. And at the back, you have tutorial videos here too. So you can scan the QR code to find out more information. And if you want to contact Chestnut, you just, you can scan, um, scan here and find their Facebook page or see their Facebook group as well. Quick start guide. Let's put that aside. Now for the main event, which is the Chestnut Go board itself. I'm just going to take it out of its sleeve. Yeah, it's, it feels really light. And look at how super thin it is. Wow, isn't that amazing? For how much tech you have inside this board, it's super thin. The other boards, of course, are, they are quite thick, but this is very thin. And I chose the orange buttons, as you can see. I suppose that's why the case itself is 
has an orange lining to it. So let's put this case aside for now. And let's look at this chest set. So at the back, what do we have at the back? Nothing much. Status indicators right there. You've got the power, Bluetooth connection, and the status. So overall, is it connected? And yeah, you get the gist of it. And now, so to turn it on, we can follow our quick start guide. Oh yeah. And to charge it, on the side, you have the USB-C slot right there. So once you charge it, fully charge it, it should be good to go. I'm not sure whether they are half charged if out of the box, but we can check it out. Oh, you have your speakers there too, so you can hear your beeps through the game. So you've got your beeps and uh, your power button and your plus symbol here. It is. It feels really light. The lightest board, electronics board I've ever held so far. Super light. Now let's see the pieces. So I'm going to take the pieces out. There they are. So king. Here's the king. That'll focus. There's the king. And the queen. And I've seen in previous videos that the pieces will just remain stuck on the board. So if you need to move it around when you're on the go, the pieces will just stay stuck on, this, on the board because the pieces are magnetic. They've really enforced the magnetism on this. So you are able to move it around or if you are jostling around, you can easily continue your game where you left off, wherever you go. Extra queen. The white pieces are set up. Here are the black pieces. Here's the queen. Extra black queen. Knight. There we go, so the pieces are all set up. Now let's see the upside down test. So if I turn it ar around, it when I turn it over, they should remain in its place, the pieces. The pieces should remain in its place, so let's see. Okay, so this fell down. All right, that's pretty impressive. Let's see how far it'll go. Nope, the king moves a bit. There we are. So the pieces are upside down, the board itself is upside down, and all the pieces are, in, are still in their place. Of course, if you bump accidentally against someone, or if you're jostling around or running the marathon with this, of course, the pieces may move. But it's pretty strong enough and resilient, so it's pretty, it's pretty strong enough to stay on this board for when you're on the go, try again. You can play like this, but who would want to play like that? I mean, <laughs> but it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty good. You can at least play any way you want and play upside down. Nah, just joking. So overall, I'm quite impressed. You have annotations as well, A to H here, and one to eight on the side, so you can play with annotations. And uh, you are, you need to connect this board to a smartphone or a tablet in order to play. Now, with the pieces set up, I'm going to turn it on for the first time and connect it to my device and play an initial game. This is just a test game to see how it performs. Let's see how it goes.
So I'm in the Chestnut app. So let's turn on the device first before we connect it. So you just hold down the power button and you will see the power button turn from red to green in a moment. There we go. Now it's green. And you can see that the Bluetooth icon is flashing, which means that it's ready to connect via our device. I'm using an Android. So I'm in the Chestnut app. On the top right, you'll see the uh, Bluetooth icon. So you just click on that and it says connecting. So it should automatically connect and you'll hear it beeps. There we go. So now it's connected and you can see on the top, it says Chestnut Go, that's our device. Um, the LEDs are on, the beep is on as, as well. And if you want to disconnect, of course, you just click on disconnect at the, at the bottom. So let's go back. Let's play a game with the Chestnut engine or a computer, should I say. So I'll just click on play game. I'm playing against the computer and we're choosing standard. I am white, so I'll choose white. Let's play level four. And at the bottom, you have time control, time mode, real time, access control, add seconds. Everything should be the same and relevant to the previous versions of chestnut board. So we are just, the only difference here is the board and we're on the go. So that's the difference. So I'll just click on start game. All right. So I'll just move my piece. It should work. So I just lift it up and there. Whoop. My token expired. I have to log in. Give me a moment. All right, a new game. So you can just pick the piece up and put it down wherever you want. There we go. And you can see that the LEDs are on. It's green. It might be a little bit hard to see. Let me just turn down the lighting so you'll be able to see it better. Here are the LEDs. They are kind of, um, well, kind of dim. So if you're playing in a very bright environment, it might be a little bit hard to see, but they are noticeable. So you are still able to see those LEDs as you play. Lifting up the night, and you can see here now that the LED here is green, which means I picked up a piece and I'm going to move it here. Now it's the computer's turn. There are the LEDs. Now what if I what if I do an illegal move? Let's say if I move this, this knight to here, for example. Let's see what happens. Nothing. So it's requesting you to move your piece back. It will not register the piece. But if I do move back to a legal move, for instance, it'll register that and it'll indicate the next move for black. And to castle, let's say if you want to castle your king, all you have to do is just lift up your king and move two squares. So first you must, of course, move your king first. You can't move your rook first. When you castle, you always pick up your king, right? So you move your king two squares and place it down. It means you want to castle, so you can castle. Now it's registered. So first move the king two squares, and then you move your rook two squares next to the king. All right, he wants to sacrifice its bishop. So how about ta capturing pieces? You just pick up the piece that you want to capture, and you move the relevant piece to the place where it was. You can put that aside. Let's say I want to capture a piece, then I'll just take the opponent's piece, move my bishop, and place my bishop where... I want to move it to. We didn't take my bishop. Let's put the king in check. Oh, you hear that beep? That means that means it's check. So how about restarting a game? So if you want to restart a game, it's just like 
how you would with other chess boards from Chestnut. Just put your pieces back. Click back. You want to resign. So quick, quit, and play a new game. There. Now one thing I want to know is that if this chess set has piece recognition, which means that if I misplace a piece, will it automatically detect that and not register the move? So let's try this test. So here I'm going to move my king on the queen square. Now let's see if that will register. I just misplaced the queen on the square. So the king should be on the black square and the queen should be on the white square as you can see. But it will not register. So that means it does detect that the queen is here. So it's pretty impressive for this kind of small thin tech that we have. So it's quite impressive for this small thin board that we have, we are able to have this much tech embedded into this board with magnetism and piece recognition as well. I believe that each piece has an RFID chip inside of it, and they must be tiny. <laughs> so it's quite impressive. So for the size of these pieces, since this is a travels chess set, we can expect that the pieces be smaller as the original chess set. And we are able just we are able to just carry it with this case, which is super convenient. You can just tug it in your bag anywhere, and you don't need to carry a hefty sized board around with you. So you can travel with convenience. As you can see, I have low battery right there. It's red, so it needs to be charged. I didn't charge this after opening it. I just turned it on right out of the box for the sake of this video. So this board is very compact when it's packed up inside this case. It's really lightweight. You can hold it with one hand, you can carry it everywhere. And if you're um, jostling around and moving, it's quite sturdy. It's really light so that we can carry it inside such a case and hold it. And it's almost like holding onto, let's say, a book. If you're carrying a book around, this would be an ideal way to carry a chess set. I hope you got some useful insights into this unboxing of the Chestnut Go. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. I welcome anyone to answer questions too. Perhaps you already own this board and are willing to give your feedback. That I do encourage. If you're interested in this board, use my link in the description to get a 12% discount on your next purchase using the code ROLAN. That is R-O-L-A-N, ROLAN. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.